yung collision natin dito or yung impact is inelastic. It would be incorrect to equate the initial kinetic energy of the incoming bullet to the final gravitational potential energy associated with the bullet block combination or yung system ng bullet and the block. The energy isn't conserved. Collision is an occurrence in which two bodies come into direct contact with each other. By a simpler explanation, collision is a situation in which two bodies or the two objects strike one another in which yung net external force is either zero or sa sobrang liit, pwede na nating ineglek. One common example of collisions is two vehicles on a level surface and they hit nila yung one another so that is an example of collision. In that case, yung external force, yung net external force, the weight downward plus the normal force exerted by the surface upward is zero kung i-compute natin siya by dynamics. And as a result, yung momentum ng two vehicles na yun is conserved. Another example of collision is yung baseball in a bat. Once na ma-strike ng bat yung baseball, magkakaroon ulit tayo ng collision doon. And again, in that case, Yung external forces done are not zero because yung weight of the ball is not balanced by any other force. However, yung forces exerted during the hit or yung pag-strike ng bat dun sa baseball are much larger than the weight of the ball or the bat. So, in approximation, ininiglek na natin ulit dun yung external forces. In collisions, momentum is always conserved. So we have seen that a for any type of collision, the total momentum of the system just before the collision equals the total momentum just after the collision as long as the system may be considered isolated. Yung total kinetic energy, on the other hand, is generally not conserved in a collision because some of the kinetic energy is converted into internal energy sound energy and yung work needed to permanently deform the objects involved such as cars in a car crash. We have two types of collisions. Number one, the elastic collision. And number two, the inelastic collision. Let's start with the inelastic collision. We define inelastic collisions as a collision in which momentum is conserved but the kinetic energy is not. Perfectly inelastic collision is the collision in which kinetic energy is not conserved some of the kinetic energy is transformed into other types of the energy. One example of inelastic collision is the collision of a rubber ball with a hard surface because some of the kinetic energy is lost when the ball is deformed during contact with the surface. So again, by formula, momentum initial is equal to momentum final while the kinetic initial is not equal to kinetic energy final. So we consider two objects having a mass 1 and mass 2 moving with known initial velocity components say V1 and V2 along a straight line. Makikita natin in this figure. If the two objects collide head on and magsistick sila together and move with a common velocity component say velocity final after the collision, then the collision is perfectly inelastic. Because in total momentum of the two object isolated system before the collision, is equal to the total momentum of the combined object system of after the collision as we can see in the second figure magkadikit na sila so yung ganitong problem sa main counter natin for any objects maari nating masolve yung final velocity or any of the velocities gagamit lang tayo ng conservation of momentum it is important to notice that yung initial velocities natin v1 and v2 for the two objects and yung final velocity represent the x components of the velocity vector. So, dapat maging careful tayo kapag i-enter na natin yung values na given, particularly with regard to signs. For example, sa first figure natin, dito, yung initial velocity 1, say ito, would have a positive value dahil nagmumove siya sa right, considering yung coordinate system natin, positive sa right and positive sa up, whereas yung velocity 2 naman, initial, would have a negative value na papunta siya sa left. And once these values are entered, 
So, ilalagay natin kung ano yung mga karapat dapat na signs para sa kanila to solve for the final velocity kung final velocity man yung hinahanap. Example number one, a truck with a mass of 1,800 kilograms is traveling eastbound at 15 meters per second while a car with a mass of 900 kilograms is traveling westbound at 15 meters per second. The two vehicles collide head-on becoming entangled. Letter A, find the speed of the entangled vehicles after the collision. Letter B, find the change in the velocity of vehicle. Letter C, find the change in the kinetic energy of the system consisting of both vehicles. In this problem, kung i-ignore na natin yung friction and i-assume natin that yung vehicles form of an isolated system, walang ibang net external force na nag sa kanya, the total momentum of the vehicles before the collision is equal to the total momentum of the vehicles after the collision. So we solve for the momentum conservation equation for the final velocity of the entangled vehicles. Once the velocities are in hand or alam na natin, the other parts can be solved by substitution. So for letter A, the speed of the entangled vehicles after the collision, gagamit lang tayo again ng conservation of momentum, letter A. For example, this is the truck, pa-travel sa eastbound or papunta sa right, and ang kanyang velocity is 15 meters per second. And yung car naman, say ito yung car, traveling to the left, westbound, with the same velocity, 15 meters per second. Kaya lang, ang difference nila is yung kanilang mass. Yung truck is 1,800 kilograms, while the car has 900 kilograms of mass. By conservation of momentum, initial momentum is equal to final momentum. Say this is M1, this is M2. M1, V1, total momentum initial plus M2, V2 is equal to M1, V1 prime plus M2, V2 prime. Again, nag-entangle na sila, ibig sabihin nun is nagdikit na sila after the collision. Ibig sabihin yung velocity 1 prime or yung final velocity of the vehicle 1 ng truck is equal to the velocity of the car, yung final velocity niya prime. So, pwedeng ilagay na lang natin as final velocity na lang. M1 V1 plus M2 V2 is equal to since equal na ito, pwede na natin siyang i-factor out. Final velocity times mass 1 plus mass 2. Ang kailangan natin i-solve is yung kanilang final velocity, ito. So, we divide both sides by mass 1 plus mass 2. Cancel. Final velocity is equal to mass 1 times velocity 1 plus mass 2 times velocity 2 over mass 1 plus mass 2. Final velocity is equal to, uh, we substitute first the values, ang mass 1 is 1,800 kilograms times velocity 1, 15 meters per second. Again, we consider the right x as the positive plus ang m2 natin is 900 kilograms times 15 meters per second since to the left yung car, negative ang ilalagay natin sa kanya. Divided by, ang mass 1 is 1,800 kilograms plus 900 kilograms. By calculating, ang final velocity ng entangled cars is equal to 5 meters per second. For letter B naman, we are asked to find the change in the velocity of each vehicle. Say, the change in velocity 1, for vehicle 1, yung truck, ang final velocity natin is 5 meters per second, minus ang initial velocity natin is 15 meters per second. Change in the velocity of the vehicle 1, or yung truck, is equal to negative 10 meters per second. For the vehicle 2 naman, change in the velocity of the car, 5 pa rin ang ating final velocity. Ang initial velocity is, negative 15 meters per second by calculating negative to 
by calculating and change in velocity of the car is equal to 20 meters per second. For letter C, let's proceed to the next page. We are asked to find the change in the kinetic energy of the system consisting of both vehicles. So, ang gagawin lang natin dito, we compute the total kinetic energy before the collision and yung total kinetic energy after the collision and we just have to subtract to find the change in kinetic energy. Let's start with the initial kinetic energy. 1 half times mass 1 times velocity 1 square plus 1 half times mass 2 or yung car times velocity 2 square. Kinetic energy initial total is equal to 1 half times ang mass 1 is 1000 800 kilograms times ang velocity 1 is 15 meters per second quantity square plus 1 half times 900 kilograms times 15 meters per second negative quantity square by calculating ang kinetic energy initial natin or yung total, kin total initial kinetic energy of the two objects is equal to 303 1,750 joules. So, to find the change in kinetic energy, kailangan pa natin isolve yung final kinetic energy. Ke final is equal to, same formula, pero ang gagamitin na natin na velocity is yung velocity nila after the collision. 1 half times, ang mass 1 is 1,800 kilograms pa din times ang final velocity nila is 5 meters per second quantity square plus 1 half times 900 kilograms yung mass ng car times 5 meters per second quantity square. Take note na positive yung nakuha natin na final velocity. That means that nung nag-collide sila, papunta na yung nagdikit silang dalawa, nagpapunta na sila sa right direction. By calculating, ang final kinetic energy ng two objects is equal to 33,750 joules. Pwede na natin isolve ngayon yung change in kinetic energy. To find the change in kinetic energy of the whole system, yung system ng dalawang vehicles, change in Ke is equal to Ke final minus Ke initial. Change in kinetic energy is equal to, we substitute the values, 33,750 joules minus 303,750 joules. By calculating, change in kinetic energy is equal to negative 270,000 joules. So, during the collision, the system lost almost 90% um, of the kinetic energy, the change in the velocity of the truck was only 10 meters per second compared to twice for that the compact car. So this example underscores perhaps the most important safety feature of any car, yung kanyang mass. So this is example number one. Example number two, a 0 0.5 kilogram snowball moving at 20 meters per second strikes and sticks to a 70 kilogram man standing on a frictionless surface of a frozen water. What is the man's final velocity? So for this example, let's say yung V1, ang velocity ng snowball, ito. And yung V2 naman is yung velocity ng man. Initial momentum of the snowball is equal to the final momentum of the man plus the snowball. So, bakit ganun? Kasi, ang initial velocity, say, ito yung kanyang mga initial velocity, ang initial velocity ng snowball is 20 meters per second. While yung man naman na nakatayo lang, at rest, ibig sabihin, zero velocity. And sa final naman, iisa na lang ng velocity yung man and snowball kasi, nagdikit na silang dalawa and sabay na silang nag-move. So, initial momentum, is equal to final momentum, mass ng snowball, or let's say mass 1 na lang, times V1, plus mass 2, times V2, is equal to mass 1, times V1, prime, or final, plus mass 2, times V2, prime. 
Ang hinahanap lang sa atin is yung velocity ng man or yung velocity to final. And again, since nagdikita silang dalawa, yung velocity 2 prime na yan is equal to velocity 1 prime. Pwedeng isulat na lang natin as final velocity na lang. Since isa, lang, isa na lang naman sila. Kung ano yung makukuha natin na value ng final velocity, siya na yung value ng final velocity ni man after the collision. Again, sa initial velocity, yung man ay nakatayo lang. So, this is 0. Mass 1 times V1 is equal to, i-factor out na natin yung final velocity. This is mass 1 plus mass 2 na lang. We divide both sides by mass 1 plus mass 2. So, we can cancel out these terms. Mass 1 plus mass 2. Final velocity is equal to, ang mass 1 natin is equal to 0.5 kilograms times ang kanyang velocity is 20 meters per second divided by yung mass ng Snowball again, the 0.5 kilograms, i-add natin sa 70 kilograms no, na mas nung man. By calculating, makakasal itong mga kilograms na yan, ang final velocity nung system or nung man, kasi equal nga lang yung final velocity ng whole system after the collision dun sa velocity ng man since pagkatikid sila and velocity ng snowball. Final velocity is equal to 0. 142 meters per second. So, this is example number 2. Example number 3. The bullet is fired into a block of wood suspended from two thin ropes. The bullet embeds in the block and the entire system swings up to a height. The mass of the bullet is 5 grams. The mass of the pendulum is 1 kilogram. And the height is 5 centimeters. Letter A. Find the velocity of the system after the bullet embeds in the block. Letter B, calculate the initial speed of the bullet. This figure, this is an example of a ballistic pendulum. So in this problem, we combine the concepts of conservation of energy and the conservation of momentum in this inelastic collision example. Gagamitin natin yung conservation of energy to find the initial velocity of the block bullet system Ito yung block and there's a bullet there. And it require natin yung conservation of momentum equation which can be solved for the initial velocity of the bullet. So letter A. To find the velocity of the system after the bullet embeds the block, merong velocity yung bullet, say velocity 1 na lang, and yung block natin which is labeled as mass 2, meron din siyang velocity Velocity 2. Kaya lang, ang umanda, before sila magdikit or before the collision, yung velocity ng bullet, before the collision, ang meron lang velocity sa kanila is yung bullet. Yung velocity ng block, since at rest siya, this is zero na agad. And after nila magdikit, nagkaroon na sila ng velocity, final velocity, eto na yung velocity nilang dalawa. So this is equal to velocity 1, prime and another equal sa velocity 2 prime and noong nagdikit silang dilawa nagswing yung pendulum up to a height na 5 centimeters ito ang mga values nito ito yung gagamitin natin to solve for the final velocity and ang gagamitin natin is yung conservation of energy energy initial or energy before the collision is equal to energy after the collision Say, dito sa part na to, for the conservation of energy, ang gagamitin natin na points is again, dalawa lang. Yung point right after the collision, hindi natin isasama itong system na to. Right after the collision na nandito, this is the initial point. And yung nasa top na siya, eto. Energy initial is equal to energy final. Again, take note na yung energy initial natin is the energy right after the collision and yung energy final natin is yung energy na nandun na sa sa height na 5 centimeters. Ke initial plus potential energy initial is equal to kinetic energy final plus potential energy final yung nasa top na yung block and yung bullet. 1 half times mass 
of the whole system. So, pag sasamay na mass 1 and mass 2 na to, mass 1 plus mass 2, times the velocity final square plus potential energy, we have pinagsamang mass ulit, mass 1 plus mass 2. Kasi ito na yung natin for the conservation of energy. Times the gravity times the height initial. So, this is 1 half times mass 1 plus mass 2 ulit times the velocity at the top. So, top na lang ilagay natin dito, square, plus mass 1 plus mass 2 times the gravity times the height. Say, ito yung height 2. Height 2 na lang ilagay natin dito. Kaya lang, sa initial, nandito yung final velocity natin. And then, Say, ito yung ating reference. This is the height 1. And this is 0. Cancel na to. 0. And sa final point natin, nung na-reach niya yung height 2 na 5 cm, nag-0 na yung kanyang velocity dito sa top. So, 0 na to. Pwede na natin i-cancel ito. 1 half times mass 1 plus mass 2 quantity times the final velocity square is equal to, again, wag tayong malito doon sa final velocity na tinatawag. Ito lang yung final velocity nila doon sa kinukonsider natin na collision and momentum. Equals mass 1 plus mass 2 times gravity times height 2. Alam natin yung mass 1 and yung mass 2. Of course, alam din natin yung gravity and yung height given sa atin as 5 cm, pwede na nating masolve yung final velocity through energy conservation. We multiply both sides by 2 para makancel. So, this is mass 1 plus mass 2 quantity times final velocity square equals 2 times mass 1 plus mass 2 times gravity times height 2. And we divide both sides by mass 1 plus mass 2, cancel, mass 1 plus mass 2, cancel na to, lagyan na natin dito, final velocity, square is equal to 2 times gravity times height 2. Square root ng magkabilang side of the equation para makancel yung square, final velocity is equal to the square root of 2 times gravity times height 2. Final velocity is equal to the square root of 2 times 9.81 meters per second square times the height na 5 centimeters or 0 0.05 meters. By calculating, final velocity is equal to 0 0.99 meters per second. This is the final velocity of the whole system. Ito, nung gumalaw na siya hanggang dito. For letter B, we proceed to the next page. Letter B, we will calculate now the initial speed of the bullet. Since hindi given sa atin, and gagamitin na natin yung conservation of momentum equation and sa substitute na natin yung expressions. Initial momentum is equal to final momentum. M1 times V1 plus M2 times V2 equals M1 times V1 prime plus M2 times V2 prime. Again, na-solve na natin yung, again, may na-solve tayong final velocity kanina. Yun yung final velocity nilang dalawa nung nagkadikit na sila. Velocity 1 prime is equal to velocity 2 prime and equal yan sa final velocity. So, pwedeng i-write na lang natin ito as final velocity. We are solving for the initial speed of the bullet. Ito yung initial velocity. Take note that before the collision, ang umaandar lang sa kanila is yung bullet lang after siya i-fire papunta dun sa block of wood. Yung block of wood naman is at rest. So, zero na to. Ito siya. M1 times V1 is equal to i-factor out na natin yung final velocity. Ito siya. Times mass 1 plus mass 2. We divide both sides by mass 1. Cancel na to. Velocity 1 is equal to, ang final velocity natin na nasolve kanina ay 0 
meters per second times ang mass 1 natin is 0.005 kilograms plus 1 kilogram divided by ang mass 1 is 0.005 kilograms by calculating ang initial speed ng bullet or yung V1 is equal to 198.99 meters per second. Ganon siya kabilis. Yung collision natin dito or yung impact is inelastic. It would be incorrect to equate the initial kinetic energy of the incoming bullet to the final gravitational potential energy associated with the bullet block combination or yung system ng bullet and the block. The energy isn't conserved. So this is example number 3.